A magician never reveals his secrets. <laughs> <coughs> what did I do? <laughs> In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your space into a magical murder mystery party. Was it the butler in the lounge with the candlestick? Or was it me in the bathroom with a bottle of hairspray? <laughs> I decided to host a murder mystery party. I'm gonna show you how I decorate it. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas for your party. My character is an illusionist, also known as Whodunny. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good whodunit? Or a whodonit for that matter. <laughs> You can find loads of murder mystery packs online, which includes digital downloads, or it'll send it to you in the mail, where you have scripts for all the characters. Ours was set on a train in the 1930s. I used fabric as wall dividers to create different rooms. I played some film noir music and some train sound effects. When you first step in, it looks like you're boarding a train and you have all the luggage stacked up. I love vintage suitcases and also a rack with coats and hats. This really kind of sets the mood when you're stepping onto the train. And then you step onto the bar cart, which has kind of a Paris vibe to it. It's like a little cafe. This is where we ate desserts and had coffee and all that fun stuff. And then I have the grand dining room, which is creepy and spooky and awesome and beautiful. I made sure the lighting was dim and then used candle operas and lots of candles to set the mood. For the plates, I found this blue china that looks so real, but it's actually disposable plasticware. It really looks like plates right off the Titanic. <laughs> it's a great way to set the table on a budget. And then you move into the lounge. This room is very vintage old world library feel with the big fireplace and all of the old books. Ooh. <laughs> Basically, we went around from room to room. The mystery took place over three different acts. Each act we did in a different room. Each person got into character with their costumes and accents. At the end of the night, we tried to figure out who the murderer was and we ended up being right. <laughs> For party favors, I gave people mini magnifying glasses and little notepads to take notes during the mystery. I also made train tickets it's using a template that I'll link down below. The point of this is just to have fun with it, and if you put a lot of thought and detail into the decorations, it can set the mood for a fantastic evening of murder and mystery. <laughs> but not the murder part, just solving the fake murder. You get the idea. I had so much fun hosting this murder mystery party. I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments what your favorite room was, and subscribe below for more videos. <laughs> I can't blow it out. There we go. Ooh, it's dark in here. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs>